Hello and welcome to this edition of Big Sky 35 Gaming. Where tonight I'm just be going over some pickups from the last couple of months. We try to do this every other month, so and uh, talk a little bit about what I've been playing. Uh, I've been uh, playing a little bit of Far Cry 5, and uh, well, actually a lot of that. I know I'm a year behind. I started when they first came out. Put it to the side, started playing other things, and I got a lot of games partially finished. And that's one of my things I want to do is like go back and finish some of those games. And I, I've been putting way too much time in a Fortnite. I feel like it's wasted time. I do have fun still playing it, but I don't put as much time in it as usual. But back to the reason we're here is to see what pickups I got, get some feedback on what everybody else is playing, and some games, older games, I, I probably missed and would like to go back. A lot of you already know my story. I, I play a lot of sports games, so I'm picking up a lot of games in my lifetime that I would like to go back and, and play. And uh, with that being said, let's see what I got. Welcome to this edition of Big Scott 35 Gaming. Where tonight I'm just going to go since it's the end of March, just go over. I'm trying to do one of these every other month because uh, I don't pick up a lot of games. Uh, I do a couple of sub, sub boxes and just here and there. And I did go out and uh, pick up a few over the last couple of months. And I'll talk a little bit about what I'm playing now. So. First off, I'm going to start with this. Uh, as most of y'all know, I, I love my sports games and a sports collector of uh, things. So when I can, and I'm really looking for uh, Sega uh, Genesis games. And so I got this one completed box. It's a repackage, but it's uh, Tony La Russa's baseball. And I think a couple of months ago, I showed the Frank Thomas Big Hurt one. So, yeah, I thought I'd pick that up. Pretty cool. I think I got this one for free. It was buy two, get one for free. So, not a bad pickup for free. And uh, one of the games I did purchase for the same place. Uh, and I'm trying to collect the Sega Dreamcast. Um, uh, what I can for them. I like to get the complete set. I'm kind of one of my first things that I'm going for is Shadow Man. I watched a little bit of this, somebody else pointed it, and it kind of intrigued me. I almost picked it up the last time I was there, uh, but I didn't, and I uh, have not had a chance to put it into play yet. I really am enjoying the Sega Dreamcast. Uh, and I'll go over why I haven't really been playing other stuff. And at the end of this, I'll go over what I've been playing now. And I love steel books. When I find them, I pick them up. Uh, this one, I just saw it in there. Uh, I was kind of looking for three games. It's a little banged up, but I still like the the, the steel book. And I don't have this game. Um, I kind of fell out of. I, I really don't like this part, this series of it. I like the older uh, war games. Uh, but this is Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And I got the steel book. It was 10 bucks. Complete. I don't have the sleeve for it, but you know, it's still a steel book. I really like steel books. I think everybody does. Uh, so, yeah, that's the three games I picked up from there. Uh, a while back, one of my first, might have been my first pickups video, one of my first uh, video game videos, I uh, showed that I picked up Fables 2 and 3. And it's one of those games I always wanted to play and never did and uh, for multiple reasons. But I wanted to start from the beginning, so I found Fable, the first one. 
actually rather cheap. Uh, this has the Lost Chapters with it as well. It's a Greatest Hits or Platinum Hits or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but it really doesn't matter to me. I, it's complete in game. Uh, I, I don't even know what I paid for it. It was less than 10 bucks. And then this controller. I got an NES controller because I told you I got a Retron 5. So I've been, I got an NES game. I really do not like the Retron 5 controller. Uh, so I got this controller. It's a Tommy. I haven't seen anything on it. Um, I'm hoping it works right. It works. It's supposed to work for NES, so I was thinking it would work for the Retron 5 NES port. I uh, should have asked them, but I kind of assumed. Eventually, I'll get an NES system. I'm just not in a big hurry. It's gonna, I'll, if I find the right price. Summer's coming, so yard sales. Even though two citywide yard sales are happening on the same weekend, and I'm at work those weekends. So that's just how it goes. But uh, two of the bigger cities around me. Uh, then I went to Best Buy and picked up my first limited run game and I really I've seen some people playing this uh, I I really like I, I've really learned especially the older I got I'm really sorry I missed out on all the platforming games and uh, this looked like the like was it Bazooka and Kazooie game or something like that platformer um, somebody else said that on their channel and it really did once they said it. And I'm trying to pick up some more platformers. Like, you know, I always thought I was just too cool for school for that style of game. And now that I've gotten older, playing the Mario's and, uh, you know, you know, back in the day, I didn't think Mario and Contra was like the same type of game. But it really is. I mean, it's a shooter, side shooter scroll platformer, but it ain't much difference in it. You know, one is just a little bit more cartoony. And so what I've been playing, uh, I don't have it beside me, but I just finished it up, was Far Cry 5. And yes, it was out last year. I sat down and played it. But the same reason, <laughs> at this time of year, baseball starts, and I watch a lot of baseball. So starting tomorrow, later today, I'll be watching a lot of baseball but i'll still get my game in and i'll have it on a second screen whatever it's a good way to have you know as you know some you can't just well you can my dad will watch a baseball game every night and i will too but sometimes i just like to video game or do something else while i'm watching so they came down it just happened the same weekend i said i beat far cry 5 i go well let me get the new dawn which is nothing but a another DLC for it. They just decided to put it out on its own game. Uh, and I get, I've get i heard some good things. I haven't really heard bad things. I don't know why all of a sudden they marked it down to $20. Their commercials say that, but it's not $20 everywhere. Uh, but Best Buy had it for $20. And I went into Best Buy to get the limited, because I know Best Buy now is selling some limited run games so that's what i went into best buy for that day was just to see if they had that and they did they had quite a few of them in there which was kind of surprising being limited run i know some people are not happy that best buy is running some limited run games i have bought two limited run games from the website i'm just waiting for them to come in uh and we'll go over that when i get them in Sorry, I just heard some weird noise in here. I'm trying to figure out where that's from. Hmm. All right. Uh, I have a bunch of controllers on the table where my camera's at, so it might be one of them. Uh, so, uh, the last thing I actually picked up today came out yesterday. The show, 2019. And I got the Gone Yard Edition, which has a hat in it. Uh, I'm a little surprised that they got Har I thought they were waiting to see who Harper signed with, but I guess he signed so late they couldn't get him in a 
Phillies jersey, which I'm happy. <laughs> I did not want to see that, and I display like boxes like this in my game room. So uh, I should have got something to cut this with. Uh, I'm just gonna have to rip the box. Not rip the box, but the tape on it. I left my little cutting utensil in the other room. Won't think I had to cut this open. So I'll tell you in a minute what's in there. We're gonna have fun watching me get into this box. Fun opening boxes with Big Scott 35. Alright, there we go. Yay! He wins. So what did I win? Let's see. Guard Yard Edition 950 hat. A limited edition steel book, which we were just talking about. Hey, that's what I love. Choose one of 30 diamond flashbacks. I guess we'll find out more of that. Prestige gear up choice pack. Um, last year, I know last year with it was something like that where you got like bats, gloves, uh, batting gloves, cleats that could actually help you. Not all of it was just... Uh, for cosmetics, some of it like gave you a couple of points on your hitting or fielding or whatever. Because you, it's got a little bit. This game has a little RPG element to it, which a lot of people don't recognize. Uh, when you play like uh, going to the pros or or uh, even the online season where you can build when you're building your teams. Uh, Press gear, I just said prestige gear up choice pack, digital diamond dynasty new era hat, which that's a, a hat that you can wear on the field. MLB the show 19 game, which I would be upset if I didn't come with it. 30 custom avatars. So I'm wondering if that's one that you customize to play with, but they already had a very, very intensive customization for how you customized your person you played with. 15,000 stubs, which that's their digital coin for buying uh, packs and other things. And they have 20 standard packs, which a lot of these sport games have packs now. Uh, I believe it's even tops cards. And that's how you build your teams, your online teams. And that's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't play too much uh, against other people because I just don't have the time to put in for a dynasty league or make sure I can play every day to keep everything going. But I make sure I I'll play like the dynasty league, not even dynasty, but just to make a team and just do what I can with it. I do a lot of offline dynasty where I play a season. I like to uh, draft my own team with the existing players in the league and build a franchise that way that to me is a lot of fun and and you get to save like your last season you can put it on this season so i have a season that goes back or i have one that goes back four or five games and it's well into the 20s for the seasons maybe even 20 30 and one classic stadium so that's everything you get in here most of it's digital it's not much in the box uh, the last two seasons came with hats. This one comes with a hat. I probably just need to get some hat. Uh, they're in the boxes. I need to get some hat this way. I forget I have them. So I could put them out of here. Uh, I don't like snapbacks. But I just like to have the hat. Um, I, I used to collect hats. I really don't anymore. I just have quite more than probably I need. But because uh, I like fitted major league hats. And or any any type of fitted cap this is this one's fitted i'm not gonna take it off and let you see my bald head but uh last year was king griffey and it was cool because they actually had the mlb logo on the back so if you wore it backwards like king griffey used to do uh that was there um this logo here i, I don't really know what that logo is for I'm looking at my other two boxes, and that logo is not on there. Uh, it does have an MLB, but it's with the show. It's got New Era on the side. Um, 
it's a good hat. I mean, it's their typical snapback hats. It's nothing cheap about this hat. Yeah, it's a 950. Um, I'm a hat guy, so, you know, 5950s is the game hats. Uh, I'll wear that on this video and some other videos. I wear a lot of 90, uh, 5950s. Uh, and there's the sized hats. This is the inside, so they got design on the bottom. So, yeah, very nice hat. Very nice. Uh, what I paid for it, you're not a lot for a hat. Oh, so, wow, okay. I thought now they gave you both boxes, and I think the other box has Harper on the front. I thought the regular box, I didn't even look to see what regular box they had, had Harper on the front. But I'm glad it doesn't because he broke my heart by signing with the Phillies. And uh, here we go, right here. 19 to show. Steel box, sleeved. I uh, believe my, I got two other, my last two seasons of MLB are steel boxes as well. Yep. MLB, the show, last two seasons. One. Aaron Judge edition. Well, last year was Aaron Judge. Year before last was Ken Griffey, so I misspoke. Uh, the All Rise edition and Hall of Fame edition with Ken Griffey, which was the first year they had a bunch of Hall of Famers you could play with, which now they do pretty much all the time. So I'm eager to get to playing this. I'll probably jump in a little bit tonight. At least set up some stuff. I don't know if I'll play the game or not. I'm pretty run down and tired so with that being said get those controllers out get to playing like share hit that bell comment make fun of me anything you want to do see ya